Hi, and welcome back to Girl Talk. We are filming today at the Vinery, which is a stained glass studio off of East Washington Avenue. Later in the show, we're going to be doing some art projects. Yay. Always mm -hmm. fun. <laughs> right now, we're going to be talking a little bit about, doesn't it seem like a confusing equation, mm -hmm. the credit score? Yeah. That's our topic of conversation mm -hmm. today. We're going to learn a little bit more from Sue Peck with Evolution Financial. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. So a huge topic of conversation for people because it does seem so mystical, the mm -hmm. credit score. Mm -hmm. Let's start with what is a good credit score? Yeah, so this just keeps coming up with my clients these days and I realized it might be a good time for me to start talking about it mm -hmm. a little bit. So a good credit score, there are three different credit agencies. They all score things differently. That leads to that mystical thing. <laughs> But in general, above 700 is a good credit score. Okay. Above 800 is an excellent credit mm. score. So a couple of different goals to go for there. Okay, okay. good to know. I don't think that I'm gonna be in an 800. I would, oh, I would love to be an 800. I, I, I don't think I yes. am, but I, I, hopefully I will. Uh, so, so tell us, uh, how do you see what is on your credit report and how often should people check it? So you can go to annualcreditreport.com. So this is free, and you can look at each one of your credit uh, credit reports every single year for free. But what I would, would recommend is that you not do it all at once. Mm -hmm. I would recommend that you spread that out over the course of the year, because while each one reports different things, you're gonna get a general idea of what's going on with your credit if you look at each one individually. Mm -hmm. So if you look at one this month, then wait mm -hmm. four months, look at another one, wait four months and look at another one. And that way you can look at it for free over the course of the year. It's not gonna ding your credit report to do that. Mm -hmm. And you can get a general idea of what's going on. Okay. Good to know. But there oh. are some that do ding your credit report, so you gotta be careful on that. Right, and and you only get one for free, right? Yes. You only right. get one each year. Yeah, wow. okay. Those TV ads. And what if something's <laughs> wrong? Like, you know, I looked at my statement and I was like, I, I've never been to Montana, but there's some a charge that it was never paid in another state. So wh how do you fix that or what do you do? Right, so when you're looking at your credit report, you might see that there are some things on there that don't make sense, that, yeah. that aren't really yours. And mm -hmm. there are two places that you need to dispute that. You need to dispute that with the credit agency mm -hmm. and you also need to dispute it with the place that, that provided the information to the credit agency. So you gotta make sure you get both steps okay. to get it off that credit report for oh, you. Oh, that's good information. Wow. Okay. Wow. What a pain, too. Hope that doesn't happen to you. Oh. But it's worth looking. Like, but yeah. that's why you got to look. <laughs> yeah. Right, so it's back to, to know, right? this yeah. topic of conversation being so important. Okay, so if you're watching and you don't have that 700 or 800 credit score, what are some things that you can do to improve your credit score? Give us some kind of the basic pointers. Basic, real first step, pay your bills on time. You know, absolutely get your bills paid on time. Yeah. Another thing you can do is reduce the amount of credit that you're using because that is one of the things that they look at is are you using excessive amounts of credit? So reduce the amount that you're using. And once you start getting things paid off, it's a good idea to put small amounts on, like if you have three different credit Mm -hmm. credit cards, put a small amount on each one and pay it off every single month. Mm -hmm. So that'll help you establish a really good credit history mm -hmm. and that score will start ticking up. Spread the love a little. <laughs> and then pay much. it off. And then pay it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So why is it important uh, to us as you know people to have good credit scores? It's used when you're buying a house, when you're buying a car. Mm -hmm. It's actually used when renting. Oftentimes the, the rental agencies will take a look and see what kind of credit history do you have and are you would you be a responsible renter. Um, people are even using it now when they do a job hunt. Mm -hmm. um, there are different companies that might want to do a credit check to make sure that you're going to be a responsible employee. Mm -hmm. wow. And honestly, it's starting to come up in the dating world mm -hmm. because oh, the, person, oh, yeah, yeah. the person that you're with, if you're really? getting serious, they want to know that this is a person that they can spend their life with. I swear there was a second date update where someone checked their credit score. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Got to love Tinder. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. my gosh. So one quick question. Once you've already paid off those cards, do you just close the account? Oh, it's such, a, you really want to, don't you? Because yeah. you're like, I'm done, right? Yeah. But credit history really comes into play. So if you have a credit card that you've had for 20 years, yeah. you don't want to close that because that has helped you establish a history. You know, and that's maybe one of the cards that you can do to put a small amount on each month and pay it off and that'll help you get a better score. I admit when I was stupid back in the day and got myself in a bad place, I paid off a credit card and I closed it immediately because I just wanted to be done with it. Yeah. So there are those times that that happens in your life. 
Wow, yeah. great pointers. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Again, Sue Peck with Evolution Financial. We love having you. Thank you. We'll be right back with more Girl Talk after the break, so please stick with us.